Hi, I'm Christian, and in this tutorial on Gmail, I'm going to show you how to add some of the best Google apps to your Gmail account. Now, if you're used to using things like Google Documents, you'll see this link up here. There we are. That'll take, that'll take me to Google Docs. It's also Calendar, uh, Google Reader, uh, and Photos if you use that. Now, uh, of course, you can just click through to that link and it'll take you to a new web page, but you can also use uh, Gmail and call in these so you never actually have to leave your Gmail window and if I scroll down here what they'll do is actually appear in little uh, boxes on this this uh, left hand pane here so I can get little previews of uh, Google Documents uh, and my calendar and things like that which is very handy if I happen to be uh, sending an email to uh, arrange something with friends uh, and I need quick access to a calendar uh, I can just scroll down there and it will show me any appointments that I already have uh, and I can even add one straight to it from there. So I'll just show you how to do that in a second and the first thing I'm going to show you uh, is actually Gmail themes. Now this has uh, only been out a couple of months. If you go to settings uh, you'll notice the themes option at the end of this uh, general settings tab here. Just click that, And there we are, uh, a bunch of new Gmail themes now. As I say this is new uh, and if you want to customize your Gmail then uh, this offers a great way of doing that. So I'm just going to uh, make a selection, Platt, there we are. It'll ask me some information, click save. Uh, and now it'll just update itself, and that's given Gmail uh, a fresh feel already. Now the other features for Google Documents and Calendar, etc., uh, are Google Labs experiments. Now these are actually uh, made by Google staff, and they're kind of in beta, they're they're little add-ons that uh, Google allows their staff to make and release to the general public. So if you go to settings, uh, and la that's the labs tab there, you can also go to labs directly, which is just labs.google.com, uh, and once you've actually uh, installed one, you will notice that uh, this flask icon uh, will appear up, up here. That's, that's now a quick link to Google Labs and where you can uh, get more of them. And the first one of these I'm going to show you is indeed the Google Calendar. So if I scroll down to the end of this labs list, you'll find the Google Calendar gadget. This is by some Google employees, Ben K and Gary B. Uh, and all I have to do is click enable and save the changes. Now this will uh, just refresh my Gmail. And now if I look down the side, there we are, it's just appeared, Google Calendar. And here we are, it just shows you a couple of entries, the current ones, here we are, uh, one the video recording uh, slot, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, tomorrow I have a couple of uh, meetings there, as you can see. And by default it's displaying items up until uh, uh, the 15th of February there, so not much in my calendar, obviously you need to add some things to that. So. I can actually do that from here without going uh, to Google Calendar separately. So let's just click Add. Uh, and this opens up the Quick Add tab. Now this is really handy. Uh, it gives you a little example here. 7pm uh, uh, dinner at Pancho's. Uh, that's the sort of thing that would be ideal for uh, Quick Add. So indeed on, on Saturday, which is the 10th, I can just uh, write dinner at at Jamie's and indeed that's 8 p.m. dinner at Jamie's there we are and quick add event created there we are for 8 o'clock and just to show you the other add function the full add uh, there's edit details. Uh, now this will open a new uh, tab which gives you uh, more flexibility of time from to uh, the actual location and a description if you like uh, and any guests you care to invite from your uh, Gmail contacts. And the excellent Google Docs one works in a very similar way so if you go back to uh, settings as now you'll see the, the flask icon I can click that and that'll go uh, straight to uh, Google Labs. And again, scroll down to the bottom, and this time it's the Google Docs gadget. Uh, Claudia C and uh, Ted C, those are the uh, developers of this one. Uh, and as you can see, the description here adds a box to the left, uh, simply displaying 
uh, Google Docs. So if I click Enable and save the changes, it'll just refresh once again. And if I scroll down, there we are. I can see Google Docs and some of the ones that I've got in there currently. There were Word Processor, uh, Google Documents, no, uh, no spreadsheets there yet. And here we are. I can just click on one of these and that will open a, a new tab in Firefox. And there we are. That's the, the, the Google Doc. But you can also click New and create a new one straight from here. Now this is this is really handy and it will give you an option to do a document or indeed a uh, spreadsheet. So as I said, uh, I had no spreadsheets here, so let's just create one. There we are, welcome to Google Docs. And go straight in. So here we are. And just to uh, name the spreadsheet, PC Answers Video times okay and just as an example I'll just put in name date and time this is the sort of thing you can do in Google Docs just like Excel just pop uh, the staff names in here Tanya and Nick and just put in the time that I'm occupying this room one till three PM. And here we are, I can now share this uh with uh, various people. I can add uh, some contacts there. Uh, and as you'll see, it's auto-saved anyway, so I don't have to manually click a save like you would do with Excel. So let's just uh, close that one down. And the last thing I'm now going to show you is actually how to turn an email into a Google document straight from your Gmail account. Again, this involves uh, another Google Lab, so let's click on the icon again. And this one's called Create a Document. So I just need to scroll down and find that. And here we are, create a document by these two uh, Google developers. Uh, and as you can see from the preview here, uh, that's what it does. It adds a link to creating a document straight from an email. So if I now enable that, I've got a couple enabled, save changes again. Again, it just refreshes, and if I uh, find a message here that open up, you'll now see under the normal options which you get is a new window to display that message in, uh, uh, print all of the conversation, uh, and now create a document. So click straight that and it'll open straight into Google Docs. Just have to wait a few seconds, and there we are, it's made it into a document for you uh, and it's imported correctly across all the links etc uh, and of course now if what I can do is like any Google document is change any of the uh, formatting and there we are Let's save it off that way uh, and that's a good way of uh, sort of copying some information from your email uh, changing it and e emailing it back to someone uh, and you can do it right from within Gmail. So let's just close that one down. Uh, go back to the labs. Uh, and as you see, there are many, many others um, that you can actually add to your Gmail. And they they don't really do much advertising on this, Google. You really have to sort of discover these things uh, by yourself. And there's some really uh, excellent ones uh, in here. Uh, and some funny ones too, including uh, the old version of uh, Snake there. We can actually add uh, to a column. So there we are, that's how to bolster your Gmail account uh, and getting your favourite Google apps actually into it. And take a look at the tutorial in the magazine for a few more great examples.